let's talk about episode three of House of the Dragon. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'll just kind of continue the similar format. You can kind of give your thoughts first. Yep. Um, and then I'll kind of tell you what I, I'll fill in as you're going along. And then we'll talk about, we'll kind of run through a bit of the episode, uh, close it out. Let's do it. You're going to start. Oh yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I was looking at the review. Uh, yeah, there's definitely some fishy things going on on Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb. Amazon's increasing <laughs> those scores for sure. Uh, so my general impressions of episode three, I think it's my favorite episode out of Uh-oh, all of them so okay, far. Okay. I think so. Yeah, glowing review for me. Uh, And it's probably just coming from the, you know, episode two was a tad slow. I didn't hate it. I thought it was a good episode, obviously. But it was, this was nice. Now, I will say, too, there were some questionable CGI scenes. Oh, there was quite a bit of questionable (laughs) CGI in this episode. But I'm more willing to forgive it because I like the story so far. Now, I want to ask you a quick question before you keep going. Is this show good or is rings of power just so bad that it's elevating this maybe a little higher than it actually is okay so i and i know it's early i know it's still only episode three i think this show is good but i also think rings of power is elevating (laughs) it for me (laughs) because dude watching this i'm just like they have a plot the characters are doing things that make sense for how they've been yeah. characterized. There's at least some kind of idea of because of the foreshadowing that we got earlier in the season of where this yeah. is headed. I, I don't get any of that from the other show, and so there's part of me that's like, it's just really nice to have something that, yeah, that's coherent. something competent. <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing. It's funny. Even though I like this episode the most, it's probably going to be the episode I'm most critical of too. Okay, uh, Get- and, and maybe those two things go hand in hand. But I think what what we're getting at is when you have characters you like that are like. I'm sorry, when you have characters that are likable, it goes a long way. Whereas the Rings of Power, I mean, there's not really any one that stands out as that likable. You know what I mean? We we enjoyed Duran. He's fine. Yeah, tolerable so far. Is yeah, there anyone no, else? No. I I've heard some people say that like it's really funny that that they like Disa and it's not because she's necessarily a good character, but she's not just like a miserable lump of like garbage. Yes. Um you know, I will, she, I'll give him that the acting again I think her Scottish I think her her accents accents way horrible. over the top. Yeah. But I would say the better acting in the show has come from a Rondier and Disa, yes. <laughs> ironically. Anyway, so I let's uh, I, I we'll just we'll kind of go in order yeah. for things because I want to talk about this opening scene for two reasons. Okay. One, Sapochnik is all over this because this looks like it was filmed through a potato. <laughs> and I, I, like, it, it's so dark. It, was the CGI just bad? They. Uh, that's what I was. That's, that's what I was thinking. So, um. I don't mind like the shot's actually not so, not so bad or whatever, nah. but the, he it shows the guy who's get, whoops <laughs> sorry YouTube hopefully they won't get too mad about that the long night um, two point yeah you just had these crabs don't look very good in this scene um, it, it was really obvious compared to in uh, past shots which obviously they were gonna probably put their budget up front a little bit more Mm -hmm. in the show than with later episodes but i I didn't really care for that but yeah this all this is it's all very like doo-doo brown colored you know yeah um and then damon comes in and uh he's 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 like riding the dragon or whatever but the Mm -hmm. whole scene dude um let me see if I can find these shots of of Damon like flying on the back of this thing because I didn't mind the dragon. Oh, and it's really I actually thought it was really funny that he steps on the guy. <laughs> Dude, I was like, that died with that. I was like, that's listen, a great. <laughs> yeah, when you talk about characterization, showing how little Damon cares about people like that aren't specifically well, like family members or or they're not yeah. in an effort to like whatever his goals are like pushing that forward, he could care less about them. Do you the think he like, saw him though? I thought probably, that was more he, so by accident. Okay, so. Exactly, but that plays into it because yeah. he's not worried about 
his people on who might yeah. be on the battlefield. He's just like screw them. <laughs> and and you see a little bit of that at the end of the episode where he's clearly not liked by the other um Valerians. Yes. Or by the Valerians. Yeah. Um but yeah, look how I mean dude, look how foggy and terrible most of this this doesn't look very it's good. It's not clear, it's not crisp. Yeah, it's like you can have these dark scenes, but look at this. What is this? <laughs> look at this shot right here. It's just it, 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 uh, it, uh, it's just like ooh fire yeah like oh my lord yeah it's just to kind of hide that oh yeah and it, so here's the stuff of him like riding on the dragon and if anybody actually watched the episode you'll know a little I obviously for YouTube reasons I can't um I can't do a ton with this yeah uh, like actually play the clips but you see Matt Smith's character like riding on the dragon that that shot's not too bad right there but like. Look at it. It just, just doesn't look very good. No, it doesn't. Him the this part of the scene is the main thing I was referring to. Yeah. When I said this part to me looked the worst than the other parts you were referring to, the darkness with it. it it's just you know kind of blurry and you know the the fog clouding uh-huh. everything up. And for those of you that don't know, Sapochnik is not coming back for season two, and it's a really good thing. Yeah, uh, I agree. He's the and, one who's been pushing a lot of the. Uh, agendas and um, yep. all of that and he's also the guy who directed like Joseph was saying the long night um, and I assume his his, his fingerprints are all over all this, over as, this. Far, as far as I can tell so and Alan Taylor's replacing him and Alan Taylor, Taylor wrote for season one and two and he did one episode in season seven but you know we'll forgive him for that and I I'm not crazy about the design of Damon's dragon I'm not either. Now that I've seen Sometimes, more of it, it looks yeah. a little odd. In some shots, it looks good. Yeah, uh, but I think he flies away right here, and you can see how like slinky he looks. Yes, I that's just, a great way to describe it. I don't it. like this. His like his his dragon just looks like it's malnourished. Yep, and I'm I'm just not into I'm just not into it. That it's completely personal. Like uh, if if anybody out there is listening to this and you love the design of this dragon, let me know. I, I'm curious. Just doesn't do a whole lot for me yeah. um but it's like it's neck forward like there was the shots from last week's episode totally fine um i think there's a few more at the end of the episode too that i think that it, it looks fine but these wide shots where you can see the entire thing i'm just not into How it slender it looks yeah yeah um and they may have a reason for that it may be like a character thing because it's yeah. his dragon maybe there's they're trying to like there's some sort of like underlying idea of like who damon is Mm-hmm. Um, right. So most of the rest of the episode um, focuses on Viserys and Rhaenyra, Rhaenyra, and essentially like mm-hmm. you know her feeling like sh- he's going to replace her as uh, heir and choose his new son Aegon, yep. named after the former uh, king Aegon, and. Uh, so, so essentially, it's just that. Yeah, and I, I was, pretty, and it works really well for me. Yeah, I uh, yeah, it. I I didn't have any issues with it. I I think this is a standout episode um, for Viserys. Yeah, um, great I th- acting. I think he, you get to see a a lot of range here. He he's his kind self, but you get to see that angry side of him more, which I really liked, mm-hmm. um, and that potential side of him where people are reminded that he's still the king. Yep, um, and that they need to not cross him, um, and, and that caring side of him too. Mm-hmm. Like I do not intend to replace you as heir, and you know, being honest and telling her, Rhaenyra, hey, there was one point where I wavered, but on your mother's memory, I promise you, I'm not replacing you as heir. Uh, and you see, even more so, Otto still trying to use Alicent to manipulate the king to name Aegon as heir and get. He was actually trying to convince uh, Viserys to marry Rhaenyra to Aegon, and Viserys is like, he's two years old. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, she, he. Okay, so I, I guess we should explain too that this is two years after the previous yeah. episode, which was a little jarring for me, to yes, be honest. It um, was for me it, too. It, 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 we went from like a, a six month period to a two year period, which was weird considering it opens up with. Damon attacking the yeah uh, crab whatever guy crab, crab keeper king. Yeah. yeah and when the last episode left off with 
Damon like supposedly going to attack him potentially. Yeah, it's just it's like, like the it, two years after that that mm, happened, or I that think, happened, and now they've been in a two year war. I think is yeah, what, what's been going on. Yeah, the conflict's been going on for roughly two years. Yeah. Uh, would probably be the best explanation. Um, but yeah, um, obviously Allison is now pregnant with another child. Mm-hmm. Um, I I think what we're probably headed for is uh, Otto taking up. Um, a uh what what's probably going to happen at least as far as i can tell is that Viserys is going to die mm-hmm. at some point it, i assume within the next couple of episodes i don't yeah. know how they plan on um because it's from what i've heard it's supposed to be a three season arc yep so i don't know where they're planning on him being removed and then the like the absence of a king or a ruler causes Allison and Renera to be split, mm-hmm. and most likely because of Otto Hightower is yeah, at least. At, I agree. I don't know if they're going to try to like subvert the expectations or if something else is going on with some of the other council members, um, who we still who we still haven't gotten to see very much of, yeah. or we see them, but like I, I don't. They have not gotten the kind of introduction that I think some of them need. Yeah. Uh, because I I still can't tell you any of their names. I know one of them's a Lannister. Yep. Um, you have the the portly guy. Um, I think one of them's named Tyland. So yeah, which is the La- Lannister? Is he, is I it, believe. Yeah, and he has a twin brother who we'll meet in a little bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I I'm enjoying like the the conflict between the two of them. Um, and that. It, it does seem like Allison really is just kind of being manipulated through this whole thing. Like she doesn't really, mm-hmm. it's like she doesn't want um, her and Renera to be split apart. And yeah. I really do appreciate that Renera is kind of a jerk. Um, she's hot headed. Um, she's, she's still likable, still yep. someone that you can understand, but it's not a situation where, <laughs> and we're, I guess we're just going to keep comparing this to the, to to rings of power Orphan Clark yeah, Galadriel but, yeah but like she's not she's not Galadriel she's not yeah. insufferable yep um, they kind of understand she's lovable in the no, sense of how to... they do a great job of that you know father daughter relationship with Viserys when Viserys yep. later on the episode is like why do you always resist me on everything yep. it's like you just want to be a contrarian just to be a contrarian he says if I would have uh, set, forbade you to marry Jason Lannister or forbade her to marry Jason Lannister, then she would have married him just to spite me. Yep. You know, yep. It, that characterization goes a long way. Yep. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm really liking most of the cast. And it so works far. because yeah. she's feeling like he's trying to replace her as heir with his newborn son, mm-hmm. right? That insecurity is there within her. She's not coming from this, you know, uh, insufferable, <laughs> annoying yeah. place. I deserve all of this. It's like, yes, um, because of who I am. And yeah, she just feels like she's being left behind, like she's a part yep. of her father's past rather than the future. Yep. Uh, which, I, yeah, I'm totally into it. And so uh, Aegon is having his second name day. Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> I love the... Uh, someone, I think, comments to Renera. did they do something like this for your second name day? <laughs> she's basically like, nah, <laughs> like it wasn't anything like this. Um, yeah, and then she was like, I was two. Why would I remember? Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good. Um, really enjoyed most of the costume design in this episode. It was something that stood mm-hmm. out to me a lot more. The detail, um, mm-hmm. the care, and yeah. we won't don't really get that with the rings of power. No. Um. So here's the other Lannister that we get introduced to. Um, Jason Lannister, and they. Uh, he's trying to court Renera, and she's just like she's not having any of it <laughs> nope she knows what's yep. going on and he comes out he comes out and tell her I, I just the interactions in this this with all the actors I'm I will say I think so far the best acting has happened in this episode yeah um, I, I agree with that Matt Smith even and we'll get to him because he, he really is only in that first that opening scene and then at the very end i know i'm still waiting for an episode with him longer in it i would like i would like some more damon for sure um but it still works really well yeah um but all of the interactions all of the the conversations that that everyone's having and and sort of just developing relationships in this episode whether it's for like eventual good or bad um i'm really enjoying uh and this is the stuff that i've missed in television in general Mm -hmm. it's just like 
like we were talking about characters even with in, her you with know, uh Kristen cole right here great sir you Though, know it's great I, I and from what i can tell they're setting up a relationship and the only reason because I, I wasn't sure i, th- I was like okay mm-hmm. so like are, is it just going to be like a misunderstanding or like you know are they building that but the the showrunners say at the end in their little after the episode thing yeah that, that's like oh well they've been uh getting to know each other over the last two years since he's a Kingsguard now and has to protect their family and I'm like oh they're definitely going for some sort of like yeah. love triangle or some sort of relationship there at least that's the way that it seems so and right. then you, you have this subplot with like the deer going on yeah. and I was like okay yeah. <laughs> I'm like please don't let him get Casarius oh, killed by the uh, deer in this episode because that's how been, uh, um, Robert Raffin got yeah yeah different yeah. animal yeah. same concept and that yep. i would have been like guys come on uh but yes thankfully that doesn't happen um because they're and i think they were almost m- wanting you to think that because yep. you see Otto and at at one point in the episode when they catch a deer and he's got this look on his face like he's he's planning something mm-hmm. which is another thing that makes me wonder if Otto isn't isn't behind sort of the like poisoning and stuff that's been going on with uh, with Viserys which they didn't bring up in this and so that whole plot line I I, we're gonna have he's missing a second finger now yeah yeah Um, uh, that plot line though I think we're gonna have to wait to determine how that really worked and turned out once it's been complete yeah because i don't really know what they're trying to do with it right now it's like yeah, remember he has been so many time jumps yeah he, he had that lesion on his back in the first episode that what w- i assumed he got from the throne yeah he gets pricked by the throne on his finger and yep. he loses his finger but now we're going two years into the future and everything seems to be fine yeah he's missing a second finger now though okay but I, I don't, I don't if, you, if you saw that, but yeah, he's missing a second one. He's missing his pinky and then his ring finger. They didn't. Anyway, I, but that being said, oh, yeah, yeah, you can actually see that they're coming kind of crumpled up right there. Yeah, That's the right hand, and there's another. It? Yeah. And there's another scene, too, where it shows it. OK, it doesn't like zoom in on it. You just see it with his hand. Um, I even like this this part. Mm-hmm. Um, this is when you know all these people are coming oh. up to him and ask, asking him about Allison, dude. And he just says to Otto, uh, at some point, I'm so effing tired of all this politicking. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I feel you, bro. Yeah, it's like right here. <laughs> it's like yep. yeah, that got me here. Yeah, I'm tired of it too. <laughs> um. So yeah, and it's just like there's a lot of, uh, just glances and looks and. This is kind of one of the uh, one of the things that I, I I talk about a lot with this stuff, where so much can be said with a look or a glance because yep. of some, the way someone's acting or something that's happening in a scene. They can tell you so much about relationships with characters, um, rather than that, like someone coming up and being like, "You've been irritable recently. Why are you drinking so much? I'm so tired of how you've been acting this way, and we have to let the audience know that yep. this is what you've been acting like, or that there's something wrong with you, or whatever." It's like when we can clearly see on the screen that, like, he there's is troubled, wrong. that he's annoyed, and he's tired of people constantly coming up and asking about uh, Renera. Um, so, and then you know they do their whole th- this whole thing. Yep. Um, and I. Th- and oh yeah and then we have this boar and this is one of the things I think you might have been talking about with the questionable CGI yeah <laughs> this boar doesn't look very good the deer later on doesn't the blood coming when she doesn't when she's stabbing the boar after um she gets saved uh doesn't look that great either it's like it was like squirting off the side and like I couldn't tell if they were if all of the blood on her face was real or if they were CGIing some of it because there's yeah. a couple moments where the blood is like splattering on her face and then it stops, but then it's continuing to spew off in all these other directions. Yeah. Um so yeah, yeah. But still really happy with a lot of the natural lighting that they're doing in these mm-hmm. episodes with the fire. It's a great idea. Loving this stuff. I mean, it's it's you know, it's an aesthetic thing for me, but it's good um, cinematography too. Yeah, really, really happy with great editing in this as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, and then we have the scene with the deer, um, with the, again some questionable CGI. Yeah. Um, but it's like we've been talking oh, about. 
this the King's Landing CGI as showing the city in this one. Uh, there is a, a, a small section they showed. Yeah. It was bad. Um, but yeah, but again, like, I can forgive well, that stuff when it, the story's better. That's what, you know? what I was going to say is that we've talked about this before. It's like we're aware that it's a little rough in places and can be like, oh, like they could have done better right here. But because the plot and the characters and all the interactions that they're having, it's all so good so far. Kind of fine with it. Yeah, whereas it's the exact, kind of the exact it. opposite problem with the Rings of Power. Visually wise, it looks great. The character, their characterization, the writing, the plot, the narrative, terrible. Yeah, I don't. We don't care about you know pretty visuals if the story's not good. We'd rather have a good story and subpar visuals. So yeah. So and this is a scene where Viserys says, you know, I don't plan on replacing you. Yeah. And so, I mean, there's not a whole lot else to really talk about in the episode. It was a pre- it was pretty straightforward. It's Damon very- ends up killing the crab. Yeah. Um, how did you. OK, so I did want to talk about him a little bit. Yeah. Um, so he comes in and this is one of the things I was talking about with like an actor doesn't always have to say he's he hardly Matt Smith hardly says anything in this episode. He has a couple lines of dialogue, I think, in that opening scene when he's riding on the dragon. You can tell tell he's irritated with how things have gone. But his looks and just... He is soaking up every bit of this show. Yep. Everything that he does. With just his limited time he's getting. I have to say, this dude's acting is (laughs) real stiff. (laughs) I know. I was like, oh, because I think he's the one that they were saying would be a good match for Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra, yeah. Uh, and um, I was like, oh, cool, they're going to introduce a new character. Like, oh, it's a son. We haven't seen him in a while either. Uh, that could be really interesting. And the guy was like, started talking, and I was like, oh, no. I was like... Kind of stiff. It just, yeah, it came off very much like, father, we must do this. And you're just like, ah, come on, man. Like, Yeah, just a little bit more. Yep. And then Damon ends up beating the messenger. Yeah, the messenger shows up. But look at the so, and this is what I was talking about: his yeah. looks, the looks of everybody else in the uh, that's like looking back at him. They the are army. not. They do not, not like happy. him. They nope. do not like him. Um, very good. Yeah. And then here comes the red cloaks. Uh, they're coming up to talk to you know to him or whatever, and he gets like good news. And he's like pissed about it, and he yeah, beats the crap he's out of the like, guy. No, I can do this on my own. Yeah. It comes back to the second episode of I'm going to earn my way. Uh-huh. I don't need your help, brother. Yep. And then, I, and then, I I like the. I, I kind of had a feeling this is where it was headed, but I like the bit of misdirection where you think he's going to try. He's just like lost it, and he's going to do this thing on his own. Like he's going to go get the, mm-hmm. the cr- the crab man all by himself. Um, and uh. You're like oh, Mr. Krabs. Let's just call him Mr. Mr. Krabs. Krabs. <laughs> oh, rip, rip, Mr. Krabs. Um, but yeah, just some some great work. Hey, there's a name of Matt our Smith episode. R.I.P. Mr. R. I. Krabs. R.I.P. Mr. Krabs. <laughs> um, yeah. So it, and it, 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 they had kind of mentioned before they needed to send somebody out to to bring mm-hmm. everyone out. Which I'm gonna be real. When it comes to like Game of Thrones battles at this point, I don't really know what their logic is. Like yeah. why sending one person in would draw out the entire <laughs> army, you know? Like I, I was kind of like, yeah. I was kind of iffy on that one yeah, too. Like we'll I was just like, go doesn't with make it. as much sense, but okay. But besides that, and besides the dumb amount of arrows that they decided to edit into the scene, yeah. which made it a little less believable. Yep. I I really like the performance. I like that they really show that you know uh, Damon is capable. Mm-hmm. Um, that he's not someone and to vulnerable. Dis- yeah, um, but he's not someone to be to be trifled with, um, in general. I and I, huh? I don't. I guess. I guess the Mister Krabs isn't going to be the big threat of the season. I thought they were going to kind of build that up. I, but I was, were you a little disappointed that like, I was? It didn't really go much of anywhere. Like he was just. He's kind of just was creepy and uh, ominous or whatever. And then it's over. Like it, he doesn't really have. Unless they have another plan, I was kind of disappointed as well. Especially the fact that they didn't even show the fight scene between him and Damon. Damon just comes back with with half know, his body. <laughs> yeah, with half his body, and it's just kind of 
Okay. Yeah. Um, other than that, completely fine with it. Yep. Um, you know, favorite episode so far, even though it's the episode I'm most critical. <laughs> um, you know, they all come in to to help him or whatever, and and you actually get to see. And I don't know what uh, Corlys's son's name is. They mentioned yeah. it, but I just I some, think it's Lanier. Okay. S- some of the audio, it, I don't know if it's on my end or if it's the show, uh, but it, it doesn't always. It's not always super clear. Uh, mm-hmm. But I don't want to be really critical of that because I don't know if it's on my end or if it's on the show's end. Um, but I'm always having to turn my volume up uh, in certain instances because everyone's a little lower than I feel like they should be when they're mm-hmm. they're speaking. So it's like, okay, you're, I know you're talking about his son, but I, I missed his name. Um, but yeah, it was kind of, you know, he was like riding a dragon um, because you know he does have Targaryen blood. Laenor. Laenor. Yep. Because uh, his mother's Targaryen, so that was kind of yep. an interesting uh, reveal there, uh, which makes sense. But we really haven't seen anyone besides Daemon and Rhaenyra riding dragons yet. Yeah. That I can think of. Um. So yeah. Really, you know, enjoyed it. Uh, I don't really have anything else to add. I, I think really the biggest criticism of the episode is probably that it would have been nice for the <laughs> Mr. Krabs. Uh, to be fleshed out a little bit more so that yep. that was a little more impactful and and, and at honestly, least show the fight scene yeah and that's kind of my thing about time jumps because we were we were talking about this with um with rings of power but we the the it, at least game of thrones has the intention of letting you know about the time jump and mm-hmm. that a certain amount of time has passed so that you have an idea right whereas that show it it, it we don't know. It, it it could be a day. It could be a thousand days. It could be, yeah, you know, a thousand years, whatever. But one of the issues that I think it, it might be a little bit more of a personal thing is that because they're doing these massive time jumps, we don't get to have some of those moments where the build up to something like this, where it's more impactful and the victory is more impactful. Yeah, where we get to see uh, Damon. And his relationship with the the people that he's working with start mm-hmm. to fall apart, and that's why he's getting those looks. Now, I think they handle it pretty well in this. Mm-hmm. I, I personally for doing a time jump, I think they handle it well, but yeah. I think it would be better handled without a time jump. Yeah, they it give us a little more time in this. Uh, so it does. Hopefully, the rest of the show doesn't do that, and it doesn't start to feel like it's speeding through mm-hmm. um, a bunch of time periods. Um, Because obviously we know they're going to have a time jump at some point. So when that happens, hopefully it's more of... uh, It it starts to slow down, I guess is what Uh, I'm trying to say. Yeah. I also don't necessarily hate it either. That makes sense. It just has to be executed well. Sure. I think it's a... a, At least it's a original... It's original, at least to me. I I don't really remember any other show or movie doing this, but... uh, Making a story where each episode there's a significant time jump yeah is interesting got to make sure you're executing it and so Mm -hmm. far it's pretty much working for me yeah i I, i'm i'm mostly happy with it i think for me it's more of just a details thing for me where i like i'd like a little bit more here or there but characterization and 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 threat building because they build him up as a threat and then it's like he's pretty much just whack off and again i would have thought they would have shown the fight scene between him and damon yeah but um overall though I can't believe it. I'm still pretty happy with the show. Yeah, same. I, I, I'm 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 shocked every week that I'm like, this is some you know at least for now. I mean, it, it, as we're kind of coming to the back end of the year, it's some of the best stuff. It's like yep. one of the best things on television. Yeah. 